What causes blood blisters? Blood blisters are a type of blister filled with blood rather than the cleave fluid commonly associated with blisters. They are caused by rupture of the blood vessels underneath the skin surface, usually caused by some form of trauma such as pinching. Like all forms of blisters, blood blisters form on the upper layer of the skin. They are the body's natural response to pressure or injury. What differentiates them from other blisters is the fact that the trauma caused the blood vessels under the skin to rupture. The most common area for these blisters to appear is on the feet, which are particularly prone to blistering. They are often caused by shoes that do not fit properly and pinch or put pressure on the feet. Wearing properly sized shoes reduces the chance of developing any type of blisters as well as other foot problems. A person may also develop blood blisters after being scalded or burned, including from sunburn. They can also develop in response to allergic irritants, viral skin infections and fungal skin infections. Excessive friction such as that caused by shoveling or raking for a period of time without wearing gloves can also lead to their development. For the most part, blood blisters do not require special medical attention. Those that are severe or that reappear, however, may require treatment. Similarly, those that are caused by conditions that threaten a person's health in other ways, such as burns and infections, should be checked by a medical professional. When caring for blood blisters at home, people should try to avoid popping them. This can lead to infection and can slow down the body's natural healing process. Blisters should be covered with a self-dressing so that they are not disturbed as they heal. If the blister does pop, the resulting pocket of skin should not be peeled away. Instead, the body should be allowed to heal the area on its own schedule. Blood blisters should also be washed frequently in order to keep them clear of irritants. Applying zinc cream to the area can also help dry up the blister and speed the healing process. When the blisters break, however, they should be treated with antiseptic in order to prevent infection.